Hey YouTube, uh, I'm getting a little frustrated with this machine. Um, upgraded to a Fire GL X2 instead of an X1. The X2 is a base on the 9800 instead of a 9700. Luckily, it does seem to boot. I can boot into Windows with this card. I can get past post, everything like that. Unfortunately, I still am having trouble getting into BIOS settings and changing all of that. And as it stands, I literally cannot get into BIOS, no matter how I time it or anything like that. It's just, it's kind of getting ridiculous. As you can see, I'm still taping my fan out of the heatsink. Stays, still works. Other than that, nothing else has really changed. Uh, same install. I was able to benchmark this card. Uh, however, it's at the default kind of safe mode speed, uh, which is 1500 plus rating for the Athlon XP, and it's supposed to be a 2100. So I can't get into BIOS to change and save that setting which is unfortunate so I can't technically benchmark this still had no luck with the X1 cards got three of them now well no I've got two of them and all three of them would not boot on this machine in addition at least with this X2 card very occasionally it will boot with a beep code that I believe equates to a GPU problem. So that's a little bit of a sign towards something, but it's not really... Uh, it doesn't specifically indicate what I need to do to fix this. <laughs> I've tried a brand new power supply that I was recommended. I've tried other power supplies. I've tried running on a very minimal setup without um, without the hard drives plugged in, without the uh, disk drive plugged in. Um, I've tried swapping CPUs out with the upgrade that I'm going to eventually do, which is the 2500 plus, which I think when I had it in there, I could get it to run at 2500 rating, speed, whatever, but I don't want to do that yet because I previously benchmarked all my cards and the one that I was able to borrow with the 2100. So in order to get a fair comparison, I need to get this board with that CPU running at the correct speed. And the only way that I can do that is to get into BIOS. Um, and I can't do it. It's just not working. <laughs> So let me swivel you around, go to the screen, and I'll show you what it's been doing. Okay, we will turn her on. Hopefully we will not get the GPU error. You will turn her on. <laughs> Gotta unplug my camera charger. There we go. booting up. Hopefully we'll post soon. See the flashing dash in the corner. There we posted. And we're in 1500 plus. If I hit delete, try to get into BIOS, and it does this. And it'll do that forever. And the only progress that I've been able to get if you can even call it progress, is that usually when it does this, the, com the machine is completely locked up, like number lock won't flash if you hit it. But now number lock does turn on and off if I hit it, which you can't see, it's off camera. Uh, which means I can technically control it, delete, and it'll boot again. 
previously I couldn't even control it delete I had to hard shut it down so I don't know what's going on here if I let it run it'll probably oh another thing I did do change is change the BIOS I was on rev uh, 1008 oh I probably cleared CMOS previously um, let's try getting the BIOS after that nope <laughs> oh there we go now I don't have number lock working so that's locked up completely um, I tried reflashing the BIOS with the latest version a couple times and then the last thing I did was flash the previous version 1007 instead of 1008 and that didn't help anything so yeah I don't know there's just something some poltergeisty crap going on with this board um, let's see if I can F1 should be able to boot into Windows just fine but like I said I'm, st I'm not at the correct CPU speed so well there we go <laughs> so I can't really make a fair comparison for benchmarking and it's not really the end goal in the first place it, you know I'm not I'm not trying to half-ass this I want to get the good CPU in there I want to overclock it to 3200 I want everything to be golden and I cannot get to that without I can't get to that point without getting into the friggin BIOS <laughs> seems like such a simple little thing <sighs> but if it's gonna basically lock up every time I try to do that um, there's just there's not really a whole lot of point in con trying to continue until I get that problem solved um, hopefully well there's my keyboard no don't log off it'll reboot just fine everything seems to work except getting into BIOS it's been quite frustrating I thought about recapping this entire motherboard which I can do but one that'll take me a couple hours of work and who knows if it's actually gonna do anything and two this board already has nice capacitors on it like the main ones around the CPU are high quality Rubicons um, all the rest of them I can't remember what they are but they don't seem to be they're, they're not garbage this is a high-end ish still get the floppy disks failed because I don't have a floppy disk plugged in and the CMOS was changed so I can't can't get into BIOS and say there is no floppy disk anyway <laughs> the rest of the capacitors on there um, that are just kind of floating around the board they seem to be fine they're not garbage they're not um, a revision or, or, or set that you know they're not yeah they're not trash so they should be fine and this board is a higher end ish board the only higher versions of this were like the um, I keep calling it the deluxe in my head but I don't know if that's true anyway there's a version that came with SATA etc other than that it's it means the same board same chipset everything it's got an Enforce 2 chipset I've reseated RAM I haven't run memtest I guess that's something to try but even if I had bad RAM if I'm getting this far I should still be able to get into friggin BIOS but right now that's all it'll do <laughs> tried minimal setups like I said I've tried different power supply it's just it doesn't matter what video card I put in there I was able to get into BIOS previously somehow still don't know how that happened I don't know what sort of timing or you know the number of fingers that I crossed or, or you know what I don't know what I did to get into BIOS previously but now it just will not get into those settings no matter what I try 
and I'm kind of just running out of options. I'm thinking like, well, I can probably find another motherboard. It won't be as good of a deal as the as the deal that I got on this one. Maybe that's an indicator, the fact that this one was reasonably priced, that I can't, you know, maybe there is actually something wrong with it that the seller knew about. I highly doubt it. They probably tested it and said, yep, it boots, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what to do. So as it stands, I've got all the parts, like everything's just golden, but there's just this, that one, that one factor that is holding me back completely from finishing this build. And it's been frustrating, so this whole machine keeps getting put on the back burner. Every time I pull it out, I think, oh, maybe I'll figure it out today. Nope. Maybe I'll figure it out tomorrow. I'm going to try it again tomorrow. Nope, still can't figure it out. I can reset CMOS. I can do whatever I want. And there's just no way to get in the BIOS. So, yeah. That's where I'm at. I'm going to keep plugging away at it, I guess. And keep scratching my head for now. Um, maybe after the new year I can get another motherboard if I have some money saved up for it, but I've already put enough time and effort into this thing. It's it's just starting to look like a lost cause. And it all started because I could find, find found this reasonably priced AGP Pro motherboard and thought that would make a great XP machine because I can get an AGP Pro video card for an equally reasonable price. And then I went through three of those None of them worked for me. This one seems to be working, except half the time, well, the other day, about half the time, it was giving me that beep code of, of no GPU or bad GPU or whatever. Seems to be booting all right now. But, I don't know. I'm at a loss as it stands, but... Anyway, thanks for letting me uh, rant, and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.